Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to direct your attention to the middle of the field. We have a special guest tonight that's going to toss our coin for the opening coin cost. It is uh, Michael Siles' mother, Misty, who is just home from Afghanistan. And I'd like you to uh, stand with me and give her a hand. This is a surprise to Michael. and all the people that serve our country overseas. Let's give one more round of applause. Surprise? Cool. <laughs> We're going to take her out of here and let y'all yeah. know about y'all's business. Oh, I was so excited yesterday when uh, Margaret Clifus, which is Bailey's homeroom teacher, called me about it. And she, that was if she was asking permission, and I said, absolutely, absolutely. And like I say, just, you know, uh, I'm getting emotional as I, you know, as I think about it. And, you know, just coming home, you know, the appreciation as a community what we have for our, our armed forces and stuff and for us to be able to facilitate this is just, 
such a small token of what we can do, but we're, we're sure proud of the entire family. And we're just, we thank God he's home. It's our, our her third go around with the deployment, so it gets harder on her each time, but each time the community has stepped up and family readiness group has always been helpful. It began as a fun day at the ballpark and throwing out the first pitch. But a Puyallup boy had another big surprise waiting for him. Dave Hinman reports on a special homecoming at Cheney Stadium. It was a beautiful day for Rainier's baseball. Partly sunny skies, cool but not cold. The smell of hot dogs and popcorn wafting through the park. It was also family day at Cheney Stadium. Kids of all ages flowed through the gates and scrambled for a treasured autograph. I passed out because it was just so amazing. I'm the only one who got to do this in my family. Josiah was chosen to throw out the first pitch, and being a little eager, he had it all planned out. Throw a fastball, obviously, or, or I can throw a curveball. Perfect. What he didn't know was catching for him was his hero, his dad, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jesse James, just off the plane from a year in Korea. Jeez, it means everything, coming back to my family. I mean, coming home. I've been away from my family for a year. I'm looking forward to seeing my kids' faces. And the pitch. A family reunited on family day at the ballpark, summed up by the look on a young boy's face. Dave Hinman, Pierce County News. <laughs> what do you think? Mason, good choice. Adam. I'm not taking a picture. Say cheese. For me, my car, and my budget. My money, my choice, my money. You know, it's really warm out there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know he's coming? No, neither one of us did. I didn't know. Did you know? Wow, no. Did you know? Yeah, I yeah, did. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I thought I heard some bathrooms on light go on. Tick tock! That's what I can't do. That like looks right out of two. It didn't sink in. I'm like, <laughs> and then that goes it's sinking in. I drove. Guess who's known for months? We have an increased oh. risk of being hospitalized for asthma problems. Remember, I had a feeling, but I said, no, I'm wrong. I don't think I know what he told me, Mom. Remember when Aunt Lois was there and we had that problem with that dog? Congratulations. Thank you. In the woods? Was that Mitchell? No, yes. Was that not Mitchell? <laughs> We're back on this Thursday. It's 530, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla's seen her in person. Don't cry. It's okay. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, too. 
Her mom, Lisa Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small drags, small tanks, but I mostly cross-trained into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just gonna stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Right, wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. All right, what's up? I haven't been home in six months, been in the Air Force, and uh, this is the first time I'm coming home. And my parents and nobody thinks I'm coming home so we're about to go inside my house see my mom's reaction hopefully she still loves me so let's do it just keep it playing <laughs> oh, how can you do that? Diane, we're not going because we can't go. <laughs> I opened the door, I saw somebody oh walking god. on the lawn. Oh my god, you did it! Parkas. Hi, Michael. How you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Soldiers leave their family to protect others. We love them, we miss them when they are gone, and we want them all to come home. They are our heroes. Crack a manual book. <laughs> what? I was gonna start the book, but I have a better idea. What? I was thinking Daddy could read the book. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 
guys. This is Ty's daddy. He came home from Afghanistan last That's week, awesome. and we've been keeping it a secret from Ty. So we wanted to surprise him Should today. I'm sorry. Hey, Ty. Do you like a surprise? <laughs> Everybody knew it was you last week if you could bring daddy to show and tell. Here you go. Here's your moment. <laughs> All right, guys. It was a trick. We're not really reasonable. So, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Dad can tell a little yeah. bit about you get what he's been doing. Yeah. 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 Wait, you're supposed to wave your flag. Oh, wave your flag. Wave your flag.